This is just an update on no power. First thing we do is turn our power on, turn the switch on, have, make sure we have water flow. So this is the most important item for a start. Check you do have returning water coming back to your tank or your pump, that the pump is working. So we have water flow. At the moment, we're pushing our test button. We've got no power getting to the tube. We have no lights illuminating in the LED at the back of the um, power supply. So that could be we have a problem over here with this six pin plug, which is cut out switches for the lid to be closed and the water to be flowing. So the next thing we're going to check is to see if we just eliminate all that and just use the power supply itself because it's got power going in, power going out. We can test that by actually pushing the little test button. And if it's correct, what we would find is there should be a little red, red LED that'll come on. See that? That little LED. And when I'm looking at the tube, when that happens, so we do push our test light, we have tube firing. If we push our test button on the control panel and we have nothing, then we push the test button on the laser supply. That basically will indicate that there is something stopping the power getting from our control panel to our laser power supply. So we are looking at switches which control the lid or the flow or something like that. And so we're chasing the wiring on this side here. If all along the lid's down, the, all the switches are working, and now when I push my test button on the control panel, we have power. Okay, so that's basically indicating that we have power coming all the way through the system and that part is okay. Now, if our, if our LED is lighting up and the tube isn't firing, we either have something wrong with the tube or something wrong with the power supply. If our tube has lost power and we have had firing all the way through, then we are basically testing the output we would test it and see if it's within tolerance. If it's within tolerance, that probably means our power supply is okay. There's a good chance our tube is, lost, is losing power and it needs replacing. So now we have hooked up our amp meter. It's on 50 milliamps. We are basically testing from the anode tide to the earth side there, because this tube has power running through it. We could test that now with the test button. Okay, went up to about 16, about 17. So that would indicate that that's with, on this machine, that probably within tolerance. So you check your tolerance, what your machine should be putting out, and if it's within tolerance and that's on full power, it should be okay. So that would then indicate your tube is on the way, on the way out or has or had it, and the power supply is okay. If you didn't have any output there, you would then be concerned that you have a power supply problem. Just as a bonus tip, if you have bought a new tube and the tube is smaller in diameter than the old tube, space it out to get the correct size. Put some rubber tube or rubber inner tube or a bit of rubber spacing to go in there like that. You'll see that that's been spaced out. So as your laser tube is around about in the middle of your mirror, if you put an undersized tube in, it's going to be shooting well and truly low to where it should be.